Coming up on the Paper Talk today, we'll be talking about Cristiano Ronaldo. Where is it? Where is Cristiano Ronaldo? And is he going on the tour? We'll be finding out a little bit about that. We'll also be looking at the next transfer target United of Earmats, which is Lissandro Martinez. Are we going to get him or Arsenal in for him? Or are they going to get him? There's also an update on Frankie de Jong, of course. And Tyrell Molasse, has he been announced yet? Let's find out. Jay here from Stratford Paddock, this is the Paper Talk. As you can see, I'm outside Old Trafford and it's just started spitting. It's spitting, get them in. Uh, loads of stories to get through, a few updates as well. And there's a few sort of, not updates, not anything happening. It's just sort of, we are where we are with certain deals at the minute. But I'll get you, keep you posted on all of them anyway. Make sure you are liking, sharing and subscribing. Uh, in terms of Tyro Malassia, that's the deal that's pretty much done. There's no official announcement at the time of recording this. By the time you've watched this, there may well have been an official announcement, but that's pretty much a done deal. 30 million quid or 15 million euros around that figure. Um, there's a story, I think, in the, uh, well, it's doing the rounds this morning. I think it's in the Star and other papers as well, saying that Robin Van Persie was a good influence, a big influence on Tyrone Malassia and his decisions come to Manchester United. There's also reports that he enjoyed his conversation with Eric Ten Hag. He had a conversation with the manager that sort of convinced him to, to make the deal. I mean, a bit of a no-brainer, I would say. No disrespect to Leon. Leon came in, didn't pay the money that Feyenoord wanted. And you think for a player like Malassia, 22 years old, around 15 million quid, a move to Old Trafford would suit him. You would expect him to be understood it to Luke Shaw, but you never know. Things can change, things can happen. If he shows us what he's made of in pre-season, then maybe he'll get a chance at that left-back spot. Talking of pre-season, there's a report that United are in the dark as to whether Cristiano Ronaldo is going to be going along on the pre-season tour. There's a few reports and there's one in The Athletic, I think it's Laurie Whitwell, uh, we've had on the channel a few times, good pal. He's saying that it's not um, certain whether Cristiano Ronaldo will be going on the tour. Um, he's on a piece in The Athletic describing that, talking about, you know, Ronaldo obviously wasn't at training yesterday, his family reasons were cited. And it seems that United are in the dark at the minute. There's a couple of other newspaper reports around this as well. We saw it breaking everywhere yesterday that Ronaldo wasn't coming to training because of, as I said, family reasons. There's then reports that he was pictured in, in Portugal, and I don't know what was going on there. But yeah, is he going to go on the tour? We're going to... Uh, Bangkok and when I say we I mean not just Manchester United Football Club I mean the channel is going we're going to be covering it over there then there's the, the games in Australia as well United would face penalties I think if someone like Cristiano Ronaldo doesn't go I think on the tour you can face sort of losing money because organisers and sponsors want to see the big names playing there and you don't get much of a bigger name than Cristiano Ronaldo so it's all a bit up in the air at the minute as to what's going on is he going to go on the tour is he not another side to the Cristiano Ronaldo story saga whatever you want to call it is this interest from Chelsea um, and also Barcelona now there's reports that Chelsea were interested in him and this may have been what sort of motivated him to come out with his statement or to, to leak it or however you want to term it that he's not happy at the club and he wants to move on he's known United haven't had Champions League football for months I mean it was you know it's not a secret um, and it's just recently that he's you know these stories have come out that he's not happy with that and he wants to move because of that and this comes on the back of reported conversations between Ronaldo's agent Jorge Mendes and the new Chelsea owner um, Bolle or whatever his name is I, I can't pronounce it you know what I'm like with pronunciation you know what I mean anyway so maybe that's the reason he's saying now he wants to leave because he can see that there's interest from Chelsea and he fancies a move to Stamford Bridge they've obviously got Champions League football and you'd presume even though the you know they've obviously changed owners with um Roman Abramovich having to, to give up his ownership of the club, they've still got a lot of money so they'll be able to pay his wages. I think the, the piece in the Athletic that I mentioned earlier also talks about the fact that there is a, a sort of wage penalty, if you can call it that, a deduction in wages for all the players at United for not making Champions League football. So maybe Ronaldo could go to Chelsea, get the same money he was, he was previously on at Manchester United or maybe even a little bit more and have Champions League football. It'd be interesting to see how this pans out. A sort of weird twist to this tale is reports and I think again this is in the mirror that Barcelona are in for him but Barcelona are interested in Cristiano Ronaldo now we know Juan uh, or Joan uh, Laporte is a bit of a mischief maker shall we say and apparently he's had talks with um, Jorge Mendes as well and Cristiano Ronaldo was one of the players that came up in those conversations now that would be a pretty extraordinary move if Cristiano Ronaldo was to end up going to uh, to the new camp. Obviously, he was he's, was at Real Madrid for however many seasons. I forget a long time anyway, and 
won countless trophies on Ballon d'Ors and all that. He's a bit of a club legend, to say the least. For him to go to their El Clasico rivals would be stunning. But then again, he was going to Manchester City at one point, wasn't he? So it wouldn't be beyond the realms of possibility that something like that would happen. It would seem a, a massive upset, though, especially from what we gather if the case is true, that Barcelona are struggling to cover players' wages and are asking players like Frankie de Jong to take a pay cut to come to Manchester United. So you're asking Frankie de Jong to take a pay cut, but you've somehow found the money to pay for Cristiano Ronaldo's wages, which one would imagine a, a, a lot bigger uh, than Frankie de Jong. Or maybe they're not, I don't know. Uh, get involved in the comments and the chat and let us know what you think about that because some people are looking at it and going, maybe there's a sort of a way of making... Ronaldo go to Barcelona, smooth the, the De Jong deal or, or give you a cut price De Jong deal. I don't think that's happening. I think the De Jong deal is, is almost sort of decided in terms of fees and, and all the rest of it. So I'd be massively surprised if all of a sudden Cristiano Ronaldo was thrown into the mix there. There's also reports that despite Laporte's comments the other day about wanting to keep De Jong, the club aren't too worried. Those involved in the negotiations, again, I think this is coming from The Athletic, aren't too um, worried about what he said and they're still, they're still confident that they can get Frankie de Jong. They're not sure, though, that deal will be in place for him to go on the tour. Whether that He might not make Bangkok. There's reports that he may make the Australian leg of the tour. I hope so. Otherwise, this tour, you're not going to have Ronaldo. You're not going to have de Jong. I mean, you know, we want to see some stars here, don't we? I know we've got other stars, but it'd be good to see our main players. Uh, we'll see what happens, though, and always we'll keep you posted on that front as well. Another player that United have been heavily linked with of late is Lissandro Martinez. Obviously, Eric Tenag knows him very well from his time at Ajax. He's a guy that can play at centre-back or even as a defensive midfielder. The update there, I think Fabrizio Romano was tweeting there that Eric Ten Hag's keen on 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 um, Martinez and wants this deal done. He wants it deal, this deal done quickly. And I think that the latest reports were that Arsenal had bid around thirty to th thirty four million euros, pounds, whatever you want to say it. Um, well, I think it was pounds. United coming with thirty eight. That wasn't quite enough. Ajax want forty three. Martinez is keen on a move. And also, Eric Ten Hag wants this deal sorted. So it looks like this could happen sooner rather than later. Be interesting to see because also Matt, um, Martinez, also Romano said that Arsenal aren't out of it yet. But it would be incredibly frustrating if Arsenal were to get a player that Eric Ten Hag obviously wants and knows well from his time at Ajax. Especially coming off the back of the recent news, we're about to lose Cristiano Ronaldo. So you don't want to be losing players and not getting your main transfer targets and losing out to rivals who will be going for that top four spot. City and Liverpool getting plays is one thing. Arsenal are a team that are going to be going for that same top four spot that realistically United are going to be aiming for because we ain't going to win a league next season, are we? Let's face facts. So we can't afford to be losing players, especially if the players that the manager knows and wants and has pretty much demanded. As always, we'll keep you posted on what happens on the Lissandro Martinez front, on the Tyrell Molassia front when that announcement is made, also on the Cristiano Ronaldo and Frankie de Jong front as well. And if there are any other transfer stories that emerge, we will always keep you posted. We're waiting to see what happens with Christian Eriksen, of course. That looks like it's pretty much a done deal. Terms agreed, three-year contracts. He's happy with that. When that's announced, as always, we'll keep you posted. So make sure you are liking, sharing and subscribing to Stratford Paddock. I've been Jay Motty outside pretty mild Old Trafford. Thanks for watching.